Welcome to The Snap. This is the segment where we answer frequently asked questions in a very rapid fire format. So let's get right into it. In this week's episode of The Snap, we're gonna be showing you how to travel discreetly with your VapCap. There are many different ways to travel with a vaporizer. However, the VapCap makes it particularly easy due to the ease of disassembly and reassembly as well as the portability of the device. Today, I'm gonna to share with you some of my personal suggestions on how to travel with your VapCap. But regardless of the method, the most important thing is to ensure that your VAP cap is properly cleaned before you travel. If you've never cleaned your VAP cap and you need to learn how to do so, be sure to check out the videos here and we'll wait for you to get back. Now that you've deep cleaned your device, it's time to see if it passes the smell test. Pick it up and put it up to your nose and take a deep whiff. If you don't smell any odor from your previous sessions, you're good to go. Just give it a quick glance to make sure that you didn't miss any leftover material and you can pack up. For those of you that want to take a few extra steps, you can fully disassemble your device and store each part separately to make the device more inconspicuous. You can take your VAP cap and pop it in your stash, and away you go. Now that you've arrived at your destination, you can reassemble your VAP cap and start using it. And if you're unable to purchase a torch lighter locally, or if you can't travel with one, a Bic lighter is a perfectly suitable replacement in a pinch. Last but not least, do not forget to clean your VAP cap before you head home. Share your experiences with traveling with a VAP cap, and what topics would you like to see discussed on future episodes of The Snap in the comments below. And that has been The Snap. Once again, I'm Retail Josh, and thanks for watching.